I guess so. Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. Oh no, what's the boss gonna be? Oh, it's just the gate. I wonder if that means there's a dragon around. Oh, there's a dragon! It's a pleb dragon. Look at white dragons are the shittiest dragons in the entirety of the D&D setting. They're the stupidest, the smallest, the weakest, they have the lowest hit dice at every age level. White dragons ain't shit. We did it! We killed the dragon! We're the best elf in the world. Boing, 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 boing. Wow, we get anything good? We got some big old potions, a con amulet plus three. And a Wounding Light Mace plus three. Wow, that sure is fucking useful. Teleportation gate we go! Oh god, I forgot that I can't watch cutscenes. I love zombies. This is cute. back I think this might be the actual way forward this map is actually useless it might just be a bug but like I have no room for that. oh some cut plus three I'm not strong enough to carry anymore I'm not strong enough to carry anymore there we go nope okay we're gonna drop the mooning mace we're gonna drop the gloves the boots the armor or drop a few potions as well. There we go. Let's put on the gloves so we don't forget about them. Can't wait till I get the full plate. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be me. Okay, so let's just make sure I haven't missed anything. I remember if there's another way out of this room. Okay, there definitely is not. Alright, cool. That way doesn't have any way out. I checked this room. It is now filled with a bunch of healing potions. Oh, 
Oh, hey, look at this big old treasure chest. Wow, it's got shit in it. I mean, 300 gold is not awful, I guess. Yeah, let me break these pots. That's the way out. Is there any way down over here? No, that's it. Okay. We have to head on out of the crypt and break out of the swamp land. Nothing. Right. I gotta get to like here and then fire it up the line. Zombie head. Keen longsword, baby. Go line them up and knock them down. It's what I, my pops always said to me. He didn't actually ever say that to me, but I think it sounds good for like this particular instant. So I'm using a lot of AoE spells on zombies. Now oh, I've been poisoned by the swamp gas. Oh, hey, those are people. Now. Get them all. Boys, we got them. <laughs> Gotta get myself that money. Oh, he's a friendly one. It's a good thing I didn't accidentally fire indiscriminate anti-personnel weaponry into his area. Peace, peace. Show no weapons. I have no wish to fight you. I am called Slave Us. You speak common? No and yes. Right, cool. The words you hear, the Why'd you block the path? Had you kept upon the road of snaking mud. You would have okay. stumbled upon it. was in the marsh. The marsh okay. spoke of your coming. Here, what do you want? I have brought you here to ask. Onyx the Tower. Onyx Tower. No. All the tribes have raised their spears to it. Their hissing has become. If you will strike the spider within the tower, 
If you wish to reach the tower, you must first go to the uh, blah, 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 blah. before the great drowning. Our land was the great land drowning long ago. Tell me the it, king. All this king. What do you have? Okay. Go. Um, all right, what do we got? What's the best weapon we can buy? Oh, I can't afford it. Um, the Mithril Morning Star of Disruption sounds pretty good. I just probably keep using my regular shit though. The Mithril Longsword. That's some big stats though. Flame Birth Mithril Morning Star also has some big stats on it though. Half plate mail, full plate mail. Wow, I could just buy full plate if I wanted to. Might buy full plate gloves, actually. <sighs> Dude, but it weighs a million pounds. Okay. Turn. Is it help you need? Okay. Um, I suppose I should buy a weapon upgrade though. It seems like this flaming morning, this uh, flaming burst morning star might be the best one, or this shocking burst stab. I don't cash for the shocking burst stab. Had a maintain Albert at speed sounds pretty good. Ah, ah, ah! Oh well, thank you so much for the raid. We're looking at a shop menu right now, so it's not very ex exciting. But it means that I've got the time that I can do a shout out. Welcome everyone, and I hope you're having a wonderful night. Ah! Oh no, we need to. I need to do it right. My bad. I forgot the exe. I'm so bad at everything. underscore exe oh, uh, how's your evening treating you how was your stream I hope it went quite, quite well you're playing smite hey I remember that game it's been a long time since I played that one we'll get this uh, flame of first morning star I am having a pretty good stream so far I've got myself a new weapon on my uh, wizard <laughs> yes, if you're if you believe Rivka Rickvald, I uh I grew it myself. <laughs> We're playing an old PS2 game and just kinda lounging in the nostalgia while we adventure on killing monsters and trying to save the world. Wait, hold on, where where are we going? Uh do I need to use the dialogue to go through him? You have um, returned. Is it help no. you need? Okay. I'll come back later, lizard man. Until then, have a good one. <laughs> but yeah, um, what god do you play in Smite, Persephone? <laughs> I've been thinking of going back to that game, um, but uh, right when it first came out... There was a... Oh, he played a little bit of Nier as well. Oh, okay, yeah, doing side quests. Yeah, I got caught up in Nier. I was trying to play it a bunch, but I got to the point where I was grinding for weapon parts. And it was just taking me so long, and I got so, like, disheartened. That I wasn't really enjoying myself anymore. Alright. So I bought myself a new weapon, but I don't really plan on using it very much because I've got ball lightning and it's just much better. <laughs> uh, so yeah, when I was saying, when Smite first came out, um, there was a big bundle deal for I think every god that has that ha was out and will ever come out. Um, but I was a poor student then. 
but I so I didn't want to get it. But my friend had a half off coupon, and then I got a uh, because I played one of their other games. I got like a twenty dollars flat off coupon. So like it made the bundle only cost fifteen dollars, and then I paid half off for it. And uh, so I've just got every access to all the gods. But every time I try to go back, I get so overwhelmed. Uh, because I don't remember how to play. Like, I go out and, I, like, I don't remember how to lane. I don't remember how to do any of that, any of the fun stuff. It's just like, huh. This is cool. You get to play as a cool god. And when I first started playing out, Hades came out, and he was, like, the sickest thing ever. And Hades was so fun in that game. Yeah, Ares came out, and he was cool, but Hades was, like, the the newest one when I first started. Max capacity for carrying. Alright, well, I suppose. Why do they have catapults? Wait, what is the. I guess this is like a pseudo trebuchet thing? Let's uh, recall so we can loot this village and not feel bad about leaving all this gear behind. Alright, I gotta sell stuff. All this worthless garbage. And nothing else new, and nothing else new, huh? I always sell a few of my potions. Why are carrying it so expensive? That's what I meant. The Morning Star is just weighs a lot, I guess. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. What can you do? And I just shoot these ball lightnings out, because they go until they hit an object. But if they get off screen, most of the trees don't load in. So they just keep going forever. It's great. Extermination Force. Okay, I need to... Like, I wish there was a way to pan the map out. And, like, look around, because I've got no idea where I'm going. I'm just trying to fill in the map to the best of my ability. Oh, there's a wall. I can see a wall. I'm in a good spot. Plus three Warhammer. All right. So that's that entire side dealt with. So we'll move up a little bit, huh? Maybe to like up here. 
So yeah, I quite like this game. Uh, the combat in it's not quite as balanced as a game like uh, Diablo would be. It's a lot easier to break, as you can see. I'm pretty much relying on one spell over and over again to carry me through all of it. But that's okay. You know, another game. Not every game has to be a masterpiece. I like this game as a child because it had like a D&D tinge to it and. That was kind of my life when I was uh, super young, was just playing D&D. Hi right there, Chaos. How's it going? Yeah, let's save the game at the save point. Yeah. We're just out here killing lizard folk, having a good time. I'm doing a pretty good one. I'm... It's, it's the tonight is my Friday night. It's actually Thursday night where I live right now. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, ball lightning. Oh, that's some spicy stuff. Yeah, doing nines instead of sixes now. Yeah, it's Thursday. It's Thursday night where I am currently. Um, but for me, it is my Friday, as in my weekend has now started. And I have tomorrow and the next day off, but I go back to work on Sunday, rather than... Okay, uh, where else do you keep saving the game? Get his ass. Alright. I need to go back down to clear up more of the map. Man, I can't believe how much damage this spell's starting to do. This is actually pretty... Re and it's not costing any more mana, it's just doing more and more damage. Nice! You know what? I actually, like... Those coloring books you can get these days are actually, like, really cool. Is it a... Quote-unquote anime, as in, like, just a generic anime? Or is it specific to certain animes? Because, like, licensed products are also pretty cool. That's the exit of the zone. We don't want to do it yet. We want to keep killing this again. That'd give us fat experience. I could probably turn the game down a little bit. I'm noticing that I'm when I fire those lightning balls, everyone gets a little bit of a pretty wild spike on audio, huh? There we go. That's probably okay. Anime style? Yeah, no. I dig that. That's awesome. No, those, uh, those coloring books are actually super cool. Um... I I don't really have time to do them myself as I try to juggle so many things in my life these days. But I mean, hey, it's certainly pretty neat that you do them. But yeah, there's just something to do whenever, right? Like they don't they don't take much focus, they don't take much time. Uh, they're something you can do between projects. And again, there's like you 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 don't if you no matter what you can't really mess them up. And they're also like you have it when it's over. It's like yeah, I did that. That's kind of like, to me, how Warhammer models feel. Um, it, to be fair, there's a lot more, it's like, it's quite different. Um, but it's like once I'm, even though I'm not the one making the model, I painted that. Oh, Greek myths. Yeah, I, I'm pretty partial to Greek mythology myself. I think it's pretty rad. Alright, let me uh, recall here and sell my crap. We gotta go back home. Get back. Get back. 
and get back to where you once belong. We're actually using potions, like I tried trying to, so. Yeah, I don't really need anything else. The phone keeps going off, it's just Twitter. Yeah. Man, mythology actually is like really neat as a whole. Um, the concept of so many myths kind of being reused as parables worldwide is really neat. Like, um, like, let's take, for example, a pretty common tale in a lot of myths is, like, um, there's, like, a really cool parallel to, um, Japanese and Greek myth. In Greek myth, there is the god of love, Eros, who is the, uh, son of Aphrodite. Um gets involved with this cool girl named Psyche, who is, uh, the embodiment of human spirit or something. It's not super important. We're, the important part is she's super hot and Aphrodite is jealous, like so many Greek gods tend to be. Um, but whatever happens, he, uh, he and her get married, blah, 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 stuff happens. Um, but it's the classic tale of the girl is told... Hey, if you ever look at me, it's going to ruin your life. But I love you unconditionally. And she's like, well, I'm fine not looking at my person who loves me unconditionally. I'm okay with that. But then she gets told by somebody to go look, and then she looks, and it ruins her life. And that's it. So it's like, oh, you did the thing we told you specifically not to do, so you got punished. Okay. Um, but really weirdly... In um, Japanese mythology, there's an ex almost exact same story of some dude who marries a woman. Um, or maybe it's the other way around. Oh, fuck. Uh, whatever the case is, the person who is magical is like, Hey, uh, you can never look at me when I'm bathing, but I love you. Yeah, it's a dude who marries a woman who says, Hey, never look at me when I'm bathing. You just can't do it. And he's like, Yeah, that's fine. But then someone's like, hey, you shouldn't trust her. What if she's evil and tricking you? So he looks at her when she's bathing, and she's like, oh no, the curse has happened, and I turned into a swan, and now I have to fly away forever. <laughs> so it's like, alright. Your loved one asked you to do something for them, and you specifically did the thing they asked you not to do, and you get punished and they break up with you. Ah. Uh. <laughs> oh yeah, Greek Greek has some wild creatures. I mean, pretty much everybody's familiar with the story of the Minotaur, but like it's way more fucked up than most people know. All right, I need to not explore the bridge sections just yet. There's also like infinite ways to use um, mythology in modern day storytelling as well. Um, yeah, it's super cool. Just in general, I really like the idea of a lot of cultures, mythos, and history. Um, and there's, like, a few of them that are just, like, underrepresented because no one's gotten around to showing them off yet. Um, and, or, like, they're really complicated and not a lot of people get it. Like, um, uh, the Judaistic... You should take a look, if you do it in D&D, &D, one thing you should take a look at is, um, Judaistic Kabbalah. Um, which is, of course, the root word for Kabbal or Kabbalistic. Um, and it's wild. It's so cool. There's, like, this ten-point system that's pretty similar to, like, um, Eastern medicines like Chi, where you have, like, your crown, and then it breaks apart your body all through different parts, and it's all related to the soul. And part of it connects to the divine directly. Oh, it, it's just really cool. It's awesome. And it can be used in storytelling, but it's like, that's one that very few people know about, because it's... 
it's really complicated and hard to just look at and be like, I get it. Whereas Greek gods are very, very person-like. A Greek god isn't really as much a god. It's more a fictional character that has obvious traits that everyone can recognize. Like, if you go down the theological foundation of a lot of the Judaistic religion, Christianity, Islam, whatever, you're going to find that gods or angels are beings that aren't human very, very distinctly. Um, but Greek gods are pretty much just people with all the faults and weirdness that entails, which makes them super cool to learn about. Like, they've got failings. Well, Greek gods in particular have a lot of failings. I just think that's super cool, how in Greek mythology they're like, ah, uh, yep, <laughs> these gods that live on that mountain over there, yep, they live right over there, <laughs> as Persephone is probably quite aware. Persephone is also probably familiar with the tale of, hey, don't do this one thing. Oops, I did the one thing you told me not to do. Now i have punished eternally by having to live in the underworld. It's a pretty common storytelling and myth. I'm sure you're very familiar with it. <laughs> uh. Um, I'm gonna out myself as a massive dweeb here. Um, I read romance webtoons sometimes, uh, and I actually started reading one pretty recently about the god Persephone and Hades and. It's surprisingly well written. <laughs> the number of foolish souls do the thing. Yeah, exactly. I think it's called Lore Olympus, and it's like, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's got some stuff. There's something there. It's a little bit flowery for a lot of people. It's pretty much just a... a f I started reading because I just wanted to look at pretty art and not worry about things, but then it's like, oh no, it's got a good story. And now I'm hooked, and I need to keep reading more of it. <laughs> uh Yeah, mythology is phenomenal. There's also, like, everywhere you look, there's new mythological stories you've never heard about. Like, I don't know, I wish I knew everything, but I, I don't know, I don't know a third of Greek myth and its weird bullshit, let alone things like Norse myth. I absolutely love learning, and that's what's fun about it. It's where you can pretty much just learn forever, because there's so much. The one thing you gotta be pretty careful with is, uh... I'll let the story of King Arthur, for example, uh, give a good example. Myth is pretty much just fan fiction. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever read any of the older stories of King Arthur, but the original books didn't have any of the Knights of the Round in them. They were just, like, not there. Or they were very few in between. But then, as more and more authors got into the setting, they started writing their own personal knights into the story. And that's where, like, Lancelot, for example, came from. Was he was just written in because some guy was like, wouldn't it be cool if my OC was in the Knights of the Round table? <laughs> Mine can turn into a giant. Well, mine is a magic ring that stops illusions. Like, mine's sword is so sharp it cuts through a whole. Like, they're all just they're all just fan fiction OCs. It's great. I absolutely love it. <laughs> oh. Yeah. No, um... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Heracles! 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 Man, he got shafted. Zeus is like, hey Hera, I know I had a child with someone who wasn't you and I'm sorry for cheating on you, but what if I named the child after you? And Hera's like, that's double not cool. And then Zeus is like, too bad, did it already. And Hera's like, Full fuck that kid then. 
Cause I'm a god. And then Hercules' life sucked. And then they kept adding more stories onto him, and the Twelve Labors existed. I love how the Twelve Labors is actually like, uh... Isn't it like 14? Because the king was like, no, those two don't count because you had to help. It's like, I... Whatever, chief. I think it was, um... Cutting off the Hydra's heads didn't count. Because Heracles, uh... Had somebody hold the torch for him above the swamp water. So it wouldn't go out, so he could use it to cauter or cauterize the wounds of the head. So the king was like, that one doesn't count because you had help. <laughs> Man, you're right. Everyone everyone in mythology kind of gets shafted, except for the occasional person who's just like, I, right, you win. One of my favorite, like, weird myths that's like, doesn't really make sense to be a myth is like a story of like a, a traveling, like, Indian monk who came up to a king and was like, hey, um... He, like, did some service by, like, slaying a monster or convincing some god to get out of the way or whatever. And the king's like, alright, I got you one reward. Name it, and if it sounds reasonable, I'll give it to you. But if it sounds ridiculous, I'm not gonna give you anything. So, what the monk did, he's like, alright. You got this chessboard, right? I'm gonna put one piece of rice on the first space. And then... One p and then two piece of rice is on the second space and four on the next, etc. And then you're gonna give me one gold coin for every piece of rice. And the king's like, yeah, that sounds legit. And then bankrupted the entire kingdom, paying the monk because he didn't understand how exponential growth worked. And it's like, oh, all right, that's that's a myth. Ah, uh, cool, I guess. Ah. Uh. Yeah, we're getting there. Alright, save the game. Or like one story I like I personally love is the Pied Piper of Hamelin. Where it's like Pay 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 your goddamn contractors. You, 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 uh, you hired the dude to do a job, he did the job. Give him his money. I mean to be fair. I don't think not getting paid was equivalent enough to steal all the children in town and hold them hostage. But I mean, hey, you do you. in these levels, huh? Oh, hey. Where did you guys come from? Oh, there's a lot of enemies over here. Jeez, this is such a big area. One big ol' square. Yeah, 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 so that was Prometheus. So what actually happened, uh, was pretty fascinating, was... Uh, Zeus was like, hey, yo, we got this sick tech on the mountain of Olympus called fire. 
mortals never heard of it. We gotta keep it that way because it's so cool that only the gods deserve it. And Prometheus is like, damn, that sucks. Mortals ain't allowed to have fire? That's like cooking food and shit. He's like, well, what if I just gave him fire anyway? And he's like, no one's gonna stop me, right? And then, spoilers, somebody stopped him. Guess who it was? It was Zeus. Guess what Zeus said? Alright, you're gonna have your kidney eaten over and over every single day at noon. This eagle's gonna come and eat your kidney, and then we're gonna heal you. And everyone's like, damn. That sucks. And that's the story of Prometheus. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sisyphus is another cool one that's pretty similar. Uh... I legitimately don't think, like, I think he, like, actually kind of deserved what he got. I think the story is that he was just, like, an absolute asshole of a king. Um, who ripped off everybody who lived in his kingdom. And then, uh, when he went to, ha when he went to Hades, it, Hades was like, wow, you fucking suck. How about I'm gonna make you work for all that everyone in your kingdom had to work. And his new job is that he's gotta push this giant boulder all the way to the top of the hill. And it's like a super hard job to get it done. And then it rolls down every night. Because every time he, he eventually has to fall asleep. And then when he falls asleep, it rolls all the way back down. Icarus was good? Yeah, yeah, Icarus. Um, magic wax wings, man. Except, uh, I mean, the Greeks had no way of knowing. But going up doesn't actually increase the temperature. It just uh, makes things colder, actually. But uh, they wouldn't know that. Atlas? Uh, I don't know about a good one. At, I mean, to be fair, it was pretty rough. So, uh, yeah, Atlas was what? Um, so, Hercules' one of the tasks was to uh, get this magical apple, I think. Something like that. Some magical fruit. Um, but there was a horrible monster guarding it, and no one could get by except for Atlas, who, you know, was holding up the world. So Hercules like, I need to get a figure way to get him to stop holding the world. So he's like, hey, Atlas, um, I'll hold the world up if you go give me that apple. I'll hold it for a little while to give you a break, right? Um, and then Atlas is like, eh, you know what? Sounds like a fair trade. So Atlas uh, handed Hercules the world and went and grabbed the apple and brought it back. And he's like, actually, how about I just leave you holding up the world? That way I never have to do it again. And Hercules is like... Okay, fair, but, uh, listen, I'd really appreciate it if you give me a cushion for my back, because this really hurts. So how about you take the world back, I'll get a cushion, and then I'll take it back from you. And I was like, yeah, sounds fair. So Atlas took the world back, and Hercules is like, L joke's on you, and then just left? <laughs> and it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I love it. You can just see the fucking grid underneath the water. <laughs> yeah, don't trust anybody. Oh, it's just that same. All right. Oh man, does this fly over the wall here? It totally does, that's disgusting. A flaming battle axe, nice. Oh. A scale helmet or a full plate helmet? Scale helmet, you. Um, what are some other really good uh, myths? There's the myth of Fafnir. That's a pretty good one. Uh. Fafnir was this, uh, 
really, really wealthy dwarf um, who was super greedy. <laughs> yeah. Well, to be fair, <laughs> it was a trick from the very start. Hercules always intended to force Atlas to keep holding up the world. Like, he never actually intended to let let Atlas take the world off. Alright, we're gonna recall. Um, so yeah, Fafnir was a super, super greedy dwarf who uh, essentially just got a bunch of money and was like, damn, I'm afraid of people stealing my money. And he was so afraid of people stealing his money that he held himself in a cave with all the money and hid. Um, and he did that for so long uh, that he became a gross, disgusting creature. A vile, disgusting creature known as a dragon. Which vomited poison all the time. And everyone hated him. That's the whole story. He turned into a dragon because he was so greedy. I mean, the rest of the story is he died because somebody came and killed him. I think uh, Beowulf killed him. Because the plan was to, uh, he made, uh, Beowulf hid underground, I think. And he dug a hole and waited for Fafnir to, like, crawl above him. And stabbed Fafnir in the heart while Fafnir wasn't expecting it. And just killed him instantly. And that was the entire bit. It's like, oh. Okay. I guess. Man. Rest in pepperoni, Fafnir. You deserve so much better. <laughs> There's also that one time Thor cross-dressed to pretend to be Frey so he could steal his hammer back from the Frost Giants. Balder? Oh, yeah, the dude who can't take... Honestly, I don't... North is, is one of the ones I honestly don't know too much about. Up the money. Yeah, look at all this lightning damage. No, I'm I'm fully aware. It's just like one of the ones I I've never gotten around to because a lot of the books that I've had, like mythology books and like com compendiums and stuff, I just never had a Norse one growing up. Um, so I just never got around to it, and it's ri these days I find it really hard to convince myself to buy a new book. <laughs> and like I haven't seen any in shelves, and I'm like, I want a collection of Nordic myths, right? I just haven't seen any around whenever I go to a store. Not that I, not that I go shopping these days anymore. Do all my purchases through online. But whatever the case is. I had a book of mythology, and it included very little um, Norse, and all the books I had were either, like, all Greek, um, all Christian, all First Nations, or whatever. Um, uh, if you're not in America, or North America, that means a First Nation is Native American. The, uh, the uh, Aboriginal Americans. They had some pretty wild lore, too. Like, their mythology is bonkers. They got a really cool, like, trickster god known as the Raven, who is like Loki on steroids. It's phenomenal. Ow. 
Take a lot of damage from standing in that fire. Alright. We've explored this entire area, kinda. We've not gone down this way all the way, but I don't think there's any monsters down here anyway, so we're fine. Yeah. But um, but um, but um. go in, but I still got a little bit more to explore, I think? Have I been over this way? Many horns. Thank you. Yes, I uh, grew them myself. <laughs> no, I use magic to make them appear. I'm a dragon. I can do whatever I want. How is your uh, evening going, Sundered Ant? We're playing some good old uh, Baldur's Gate. We're doing the emulated version because I didn't want to get my PS4 out. And I own the game on PS2, so I'm like, hey, I might as well just emulate the PS2 version. Have I played God of War? Yes, as in the old ones. I played God of War 1 and 2. Oh, you came with Persephone. Awesome. Ah! I'm not strong to carry a mace of disruption. Ow. Why aren't you dead? There we go. <laughs> I've played only the old ones, Chaos, for uh, God of War. I think I played uh, all of one. I think I, I think I played two, and I might have watched my friend play three. But that's it. You have returned. Is it? Uh, I didn't hate them. They were fine. I'm going to sell all my Shea Potions to buy bigger potions. Oh, never mind, I sold a bigger potion. It was just never really my game, because I wasn't really into the combat style of God of War. It's it's fine, I didn't hate it, um, but it's just... I didn't really like Kratos as a character. <laughs> he, felt, he felt too much like a Knight of the Round that's been written in. It's like, why is he here? Who is this guy? Why is he the new god? What did he do to deserve this? But uh, it was just, it was like a cool exploring of the new take on Greek myth that I quite liked. It was, it was fun. A fun little romp where you got to see their version of various gods and Assassin's Creed. I want to like Assassin's Creed, I really do, but my problem is is I suck at playing Assassin's Creed. Because I I get burned out way, way too fast because I try to do everything. And then by the time I've uh, I've done a couple things, I'm no longer having fun. Because I, like, get through a decent chunk of the game, and I'm like, oh, I've spent seven hours in the starting town doing this mission, these missions over and over again. Oh. Or whatever. Um, the one that I did play a decent amount was, I think, uh... Brotherhood? It was the one that had the, uh, the multiplayer mode, where you had to follow people around. And I played that for a decent amount of time, but eventually, uh, I think... I think it was, like, the gun weapon was just, like, not fun to fight against anymore. And I kind of just gave up. Am I already? Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, God. I'm gonna die. Yeah, I, I, I saw my friend playing Odyssey, and I'm like, that looks cool. That that looks neat. Okay. And that was about it. I'm like, that's cool. Hmm. Valhalla is good? Okay, yeah. I kind of just... I, I kind of just don't really like Ubisoft. Can you 
you please go down the hallway like I want you to? <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. Um, but like, I don't know. It's just something about Ubisoft. And, like, I just did, is that Kobold seriously pushing a barrel at me? That's hilarious. I love it. You know what? That's fair. I like For Honor too. I wish I played more of it. But I do remember, I think very specifically, I think I spent like an hour straight trying to find a way to bypass the, uh... Um, the content filter for a username. Because I really wanted my username to be like, Ubisoft sucks, but they wouldn't let me. Because they make you, they force you to sign off for one of those, like, Ubisoft game account things. And I was just not going to have it that night. And I was so biteful. I think I just... Yeah, I spent a huge amount of time. I think my, like, username for it is, like, I hate Ubisoft. Or I hate Uplay. But I, it kept censoring it whenever I tried to put the word Uplay in the title. Yeah. Bra. Ba-dum, ba-dum, ba-dum. No room. I'll have to come back for this. Oh, hey. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Do you like lightning as much as all your friends have liked lightning? Oh, you went in here, but a treasure chest. Just some cash. I dig it. Get out of my way. I don't have time for you. Forerunners are your favorite medieval style, I guess. No, yeah. I like it way more than, like, a lot of my friends really liked, um... What you call it? Um, like, chivalry and stuff? But I really liked For Honor. Because it plays a lot more... <laughs> plays like a fighting game, to be honest. Oh, uh, we're gonna, uh... Actually, we're gonna drop... I, uh, carry more with the Ring of Strength, sorry. I can carry more with a ring of strength, baby. Fuck my ring of protection. This ring of strength's way better. Man, I wish I could get a ring of strength plus five in fucking uh, Pathfinder or D and D. Just walk around with what is functionally one of the strongest uh, things in the game. You got plus five to a stat on a ring slot. <sighs> like, actually, this ring is probably worth like a uh, like hundred and eighty thousand gold pieces minimum, depending on what kind of bonus it gives. If it gives a enhancement bonus, at least. Um, but if it gave anything other than enhancement bonus, damn, that ring's worth money. Just a regular morning star. What you got? A jeweled bastard sword. Fun. That's okay. We got our ball lightning. We got our ring of strength. We're good to go. All right. Let's uh. Let's recall and see about buying another ring of strength or something. I mean, I kind of like the idea of having even more. Uh, here, let me take a look at my stats. Do yeah. Energy. Fuck 
fuck off rings of protection plus five we got to get ourselves carry capacity oh plus three strength ring I'll probably just keep my uh, plus four int ring right now all right uh, no we're gonna teleport before we save you haven't been playing Jedi Fallen Order lately? Yeah, I've heard that's uh, that's like that's the Dark Souls of Star Wars, right? <laughs> um, I've heard it's actually pretty good. I've heard the uh, difficulty slider isn't really fair, though. Like, it's not like a good difficulty slider. Ow. Ow. Being a Jedi makes you sad. Fair enough. Fuck you. Die already, Sithis. Stop it! Uh, also, they're not like weird, creepy, uh... Honestly, I just don't really like how Jedi are portrayed in Star Wars. Like, as a religion, I think it's, like, really not conclusive to, uh, human personality. Like, the idea that having to repress your emotions and having thoughts be evil is just something I don't think we should really be perpetuating. It's like, a uh, integral sin in a lot of religions, like Catholicism or whatever, right? Like, oh, fuck, I died. Um... I think it's just not really healthy to have that be part of your culture. Okay. I'm so mad that I'm like one experience point away from leveling up to fight this guy. Like I, like, look at that. I'm three XP away from leveling up. I need to find like a single monster to kill. And then come back and kick this guy's ass with better ball lightning. Uh, I need to find something to kill. Uh, okay. All right. Listen here. Vader was born because a guy corrupted him into thinking killing children's was a viable form of policing what he thought was a corrupt government. Anakin was told, hey, the Jedi are evil, and they're doing bad things. Do you mind going and killing all of the children they've been raising? That'd be pretty neat. And then he does it. And it's like, what the f Once you have a body count like that, no matter your justification, you're a bad guy. Like, I don't care how much you love your wife, you murdered a classroom full of children with a magic energy sword. What's wrong with you? And, like, at the very end, he's like, Oh, but but I gotta save Luke. And Palpatine's doing his Sith lightning shit. And, like, that's the equivalent <laughs> of, like, I don't know, being a Nazi. And then Hitler's gonna shoot your kid. And you're like, no, I gotta shoot Hitler. It, th it doesn't, doesn't stop you from being a Nazi. It just means that... You value your own family's personal safety over that of the dictator? He's not a good guy. Vader's a bad guy. And he has zero redeeming features. I don't know. I just... I, I think it's pretty vile when people try to defend Vader. 
I get that bad guys are cool, but like he's he's like a war criminal and killed children. Fair enough. Like, at the second he became complicit to, like, Order 66 as a concept of, like, deciding that it's better to eliminate my enemies outside any fair chance for them to defend themselves or change their ways is, like, already bad enough. And then he's like, yeah, don't worry, I got the kid-killing part of it, though. <laughs> don't worry about needing to kill kids, I'm on that, Chief. Like, Anakin was pretty messed up by the whole his mother's dead thing uh, and having to kill all those sand people but like <laughs> I mean, it's a uh, it's pretty bad there we go all right Ah, oh, ball lightning needs 21 points, huh? For the next level? Alright, we're just gonna save up. <laughs> You're right, he makes a great villain? I I'm not gonna argue that Vader doesn't make an imposing villain. I... Okay, on the other side. I also, like... I like 40k as the game. I like the world of uh, Warhammer. People in that are monstrous as well. I think it's just that I've seen... I've seen people legitimately try to defend Vader too much. That it gets me rattled. But I get it. He's just a cool villain. And I'm okay with that because I think he's a cool villain too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the big guy's cool. The, uh, eight and a half foot tall cyborg enhanced magical space wizard is a cool villain. He's awesome. There's a reason why I like space marines in 40k, right? Like, I'm down with the giant evil guys with glowing magic swords and space wizard powers. I think that's hype. I did never get over the fact that the coolest power he uses is, like, throwing shit. I mean, certainly the Force has some cool shit that's been shown off in, like, video games and expanded world, but all Vader ever seems to do is just throw bigger and bigger pieces of machinery at people. Which, you know, you know, fair enough. Yeah. But, like, Force Choke is a pretty lame power, all in all. Like, why not force pull your brain out through your nostrils? Or, like, push your arms through your rib cage? Like, force choke just feels like a lazy, a lazy just, he could have just choked the dude. Okay, maybe I'm coming off the wrong image saying I want Vader to rip people's eyeballs out, but like, I mean, it would have been cool, right? <laughs> uh, you're right. It wouldn't have... Well, 
they could have. Around the same time Star Wars was coming out, you should have seen some of the practical effects in some of the horror movies. They were phenomenal. It's more just along the line of... Okay, so... On the screen, in a story, choking someone is a very personal event. Um, Cinematography-wise, or even, like, realistically, choking someone is a very direct and personal way of killing them. Um, and they wanted to emphasize that with the power of the choke. But I feel that it was never because of that. It was mostly just because George Lucas didn't really understand how to make a movie. No, this is this is the emulated version of Dark Alliance. This is not the new one. This is the old one. It's the same as the game that just got released, but I didn't buy it on the new release. I'm just using my old PS2 copy on an emulator. <laughs> yeah. I just... Every, everything I hear about the stories of Star Wars, it's like, man, George Lucas was the worst part of Star Wars. Like, every time you hear about, like, the things he wanted to do that the producers didn't let him, or that his writing team didn't let, hey, uh, it's actually mostly, Sonderdant, that my PS4 is really low quality, like, it's really old and has been through some shit and doesn't like booting up properly. Ow, I forgot about this guy. I forgot that boules just kill you if they walk into you. Oops. Um. But yeah, my PS4 is just really shit. And I, I don't want to use it because it's bad. Uh, and it's not out on the Switch yet. So I... I don't want to buy it on my Switch. Man, fuck boules. These things scared the crap out of me when I played this as a as a child. Good thing I've got a high level ball lightning attack. Um, you know what, Chaos? When they announced that Disney bought another franchise, I said, "You know what? I think I'm done with Disney." I don't want to watch anything they produce. And I stopped watching Disney uh, Star Wars stuff. I decided to keep doing the Marvel because they had uh, I had already watched the rest. I'm like, I should at least watch it to conclusion. But I just didn't... I haven't watched any of the Disney Star Wars. I have not seen any of them. I've not seen The Mandalorian. I've specifically chosen to not watch any of the new Disney movies. My friends have told me that they're very bad and they're not worth watching. So I decided, what if Star Wars just ended... At six. The end. No more story. No, I get that, and I'm not, like, judging anyone else. I'm just a weird autist, so I get it. Uh, feel free to like what you like. Uh, Star Wars is something that uh, a lot of people find great joy in, and that's cool. I... Here, you, you, want, you want to hear want to hear another secret? I don't really care for Star Wars all that much. When Star Wars first, when I first saw Star Wars, I'm like, that's cool. And then I just watched the movies out of obligation to finish the series, and the prequels were like, oh, that's cool. And that's about as far as my love for Star Wars ever really got. So like. I just didn't have the passion and drive to go back and watch more. I'm like, yeah. It was good. The movie series is over. Ow, what the fuck?
I'm kind of upset these guys aren't dropping any loot. Yeah. Oh, I remember I was so excited for uh, the Infinity Gauntlet series because I read the old Marvel Infinity Gauntlet stuff and I thought it was super cool. Uh, but then when the movies came out, I was like, I should watch this. And then it was more ended up watching it at obligation than I kind of thought they handled it better in the comics. But it was fine. I didn't, I didn't hate the Marvel movies. I've never really been passionate about them. It's kind of like, yeah, the superhero universe. I've seen most of them up to now, so I might as well finish them. Venom? I'm going to admit, I have not seen Venom. But, it looks cool. And I like... I like what I've heard about Venom. Uh, but I was... I liked, I liked Star Wars... Or, not Star Wars. Spider-Man back in the day. Yeah. Venom is just kind of like... He's a cool idea. I love the idea of a... Uh, of a weird space... Bot parasite bio suit thing that's that's hot. Um, uh, I mean what? Uh, but Tom Hardy is an actor. You're right. Yeah, I've liked a lot of the works he's in, so I should probably, I should probably watch Venom. It's just honestly, I don't have time to watch movies anymore. <laughs> I'm, I'm just so busy these days with uh, trying to stream regularly as well as uh, I do watch movies every week with some of my friends. Um, Friday night, so tomorrow night after I'm done my tomorrow stream, I'm gonna go and watch. Uh, Watch some old movies. But we tend to... We have a pretty funny thing. We use like a big wheel. We re-spin to select what movies we watch. So we uh, all hop in a Discord call together and somebody starts streaming the movie or whatever and then we all watch it. That's, that's, that's a fun way to get things done. Man, these boulets are fucking nasty to deal with. I'm not... How do, like, non-casters deal with these guys? Uh, the thing is, is as of recently, we've been watching absolute garbage trash movies. Here, let me, uh, pull up what the movie list for this week's gonna be. I know they've already posted it. We, we, we rolled them at the end of the week. Um, we're watching... Cocoon, Indiana Jones, and the movie Red Line. So yeah, that'll be cool. Do you like Mortal Kombat? I am contractually obligated to say no. Because every time I've tried to play Mortal Kombat, I've bounced off. I don't like a block button. I just don't like the block button. It's too... I just don't like it. I, I'm, a hold bla I'm a hold back to block guy. I just can't get around the block button. Oh. Oh. Yay, we did it. Good job, team. That was a hell of a boule, huh? Oh, the watch oh yes, I did watch the new movie because I love the idea of Mortal Kombat. Uh, the movie was alright. It was, it was fine. It was okay. Oh, it was, it was a movie. I only enjoyed it because of the fight scenes. Uh, this is how they actually have to deal with them. You just block. Um, the movie was okay. I mean, I just feel like... I don't, know, I don't know how to say it. Yeah, I just didn't like... I didn't like the fights. I, I just didn't like the fights. That's what it was. That's a weird thing to say, but in the new Mortal Kombat movie, I didn't like the actual fighting. Where the actors swung their moves, their arms, and started punching each other. I thought were not really great choreography wise and I was kind of left being like I 
coal? Oh, yeah. Fair enough. Maybe that's uh, the same feeling I had for Kratos, where it's like, who is this new kid? Get him off the screen. <laughs> yeah. But no, yeah, I mean, like, it was, it was a fine movie. I didn't hate it. Like, it, I, I've watched worse. I watched worse that night, so, like, when it came on and it was playing, I'm like, yeah, hi. We'll watch, we'll watch Mortal Kombat, I guess. The Sinking Temple. <laughs> oh, cool. A treasure chest. With potions. Wow. No. Uh, I love just walking into a room where all the enemies are already dead because your ball lightning worked. full ring of strength. I might actually want to use that. Yeah, that 122 carry capacity, baby. Yeah, yeah, it's like who who is this guy? What's he doing? What's he doing in my in my Mortal Kombat movie? Oh. But yeah, no, I, I didn't mind the Mortal Kombat movie. It was fine. Um, yeah, it was good. Oh. Slave us, no, the marsh. Okay. Here it's Any supplies? Strength plus four, I'd be wearing it right now. Hold up. Yeah, I mean, uh, what have you got? I need, uh, full plate boots, right? Am I wearing full plate yet? I could be. 20, th I'm wearing 23, is what, is what that is. Okay. What have you got? How much is a uh, full plate? It's um thirty nine. Yeah, we'll buy that. Is there a sh better shield he's got? No, he doesn't. Oh well. Uh, we can sell my scale mail. There we go. I'm good to go back on my adventure wearing my full, my full plate wearing wizard. Oh, this is a, this is a good meme. Our wizard's wearing full full plate, baby. Look at her. Look how cool she is. A uh, little fifteen elven sorceress with twenty points to spend. You know what they're all going into? Ball lightning next level. <laughs> I'm pretty close.
<laughs> Meme worthy? A full plate sorceress? I mean, maybe. Oh, man. Hold up. Let me angle my ball better. Fuck. Angle my ball better. And just fire a couple blind shots into the room there. I just love following this thing through the dungeon as it just kills all the monsters for me. go. Ah. More int, I guess. Ball lightning, baby! We're about to get 15 points, so I can spend... Uh, what? Four points if I wanted to. No, we're gonna we're gonna hit, we're gonna save the points just in case it's uh something more of an even better ball lightnings. Yeah, look at that. Look at that ball of lightning level four. It's spicy. <laughs> so I need to pick like a backup spell that's gonna be my like other option. I don't know. Ball lightning is just so good. Can't wait for it to do 15 damage a tick. And everything dies as it flies past them. getting there. And there were... Now we have this... The new tech that is just strength equipment. Why not wear the iron shield plus one? Yeah, beat up the Minotaurs in melee combat, because I'm the true battle mage, baby. Magus, get out of the way. <laughs> huh. What we got here? So It's not even worth my time to pick up, huh? I don't want no monster down that way. We found that out. There's no monster in here. That's a it's a weird little section, this little corner bit. Oh whatever. I like it really matters to me. i am uh, got my level four ball lightning at the ready. this way now and deal with whatever's down this dank corner of the dungeon. 
I'm gonna guess it's Minotaurus, if I take a guess. Wow. <laughs> These Minotaurs sure are dying. <laughs> this is a pretty high level ball lightning. It's like at level 4, it's 12 damage per tick. That's what, 144 damage per second? That's. that's a lot. Like, I'm pretty sure there's dwarf builds that are gonna do more damage because they just hit harder with their weapon, but. who needs a weapon when I got ball lightning? Uh, yeah, this is an old, old PS2 game, Chaos. Um, there's actually a second one as well. Um, called Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2, funnily enough. Um, and it was also kind of the same style as the games for, uh... Um, Champions of Norath. And Champions of Norath, I think, Return to Arms are the... Are the other games that are like this style, like this genre, where you're like a top-down, kind of like Diablo, like they're very heavily obviously inspired by Diablo, but they don't really play like Diablo, especially New Diablo. Um, I think they're neat. I really like them. I grew I played them as a kid growing up, because uh, Baldur's Gate is official D&D setting. Like, it's the name of a city in the Forgotten Realms. And it's like an actual thing, so like, because I grew up around Dungeons & Dragons, it kind of just made sense that my household would have a copy of this game lying around, because... My parents played PS2 games when I was growing up, and like... They would jam to this themselves, or they would play like... Oh man, they had this, uh, two TVs in the living room I remember them having... That were... Um... They had EverQuest... 2 online on the TVs. And they had these PS2 controllers that was like half a controller at each end of a full keyboard. So it was like the the D-pad and the joystick on one side of the keyboard and the face buttons and the joystick on the other side of the keyboard. So you could still type to people and like have MMO style adventures on the PS2. And they played that game all the time. And like that's like, uh, yeah, that's cool. That's awesome. Get behind that. Um, but, like, I kind of grew up with a PS2 around and playing weird games and old ones, so I got a lot of... I got a lot of nostalgia for games like this in particular. Alright, let's go, uh, let's go talk to our lizard man friend. I don't know how he got here before us, but he is. <laughs> Mostly because he's probably not programmed to have any animations. Uh, other than his idle animation and his talking ones, so he can't move. <laughs> so they had to just slap him in. Because <laughs> budgets... <laughs> All right. Hey, buddy, what's up? Great, time's possible, better get to it. Awesome, he's gonna give us water breathing. Into the water stair. <sighs> this is the elemental plane of water. Okay. Or wait, is this the temple? I think this is just the temple. I think we just... We just don't actually... Yeah. Yeah, we're just in the Onyx Tower now. Oh god, man, you're right, that's... Yeah, no. 
You're right. Well, I, like, I had a PS1 at the very beginning. That's a plus five shocking birth mithril weapon. All right, let me drop some arrows and, like, wooden shields. Holy crap, 22 to 105. Move the fuck over, Flaming Birth, Mr. Longsword. This is some shit. This is some good stuff. Look at it. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, man. Not supposed to blow on the cartridge, says every parent ever. <laughs> but yeah, no, I get you. It is actually pretty bonkers. Huh. Yeah. You start getting really bonkers weapons in this, uh, this map. As I'm sure you've immediately noticed. Oh god. Oh god, let me out. <laughs> yeah, right? Hey, but I also want to say, there are good pixel graphic games. There are good games that have pixel-based graphics. Or there are pretty games that have pixel-based graphics. Like, there are, there are... There are games where the pixels look very nice. Maybe not, like, Minecraft, or, like, something like that, but, like, sprite-based games. Like, go take a look at, like, uh, Shovel Knight, for example. Fiends. Elven rusty plate mail. What's plate mail cost? Oh, half plate. Yeah, no. Can I recall? No. Not possible in Onyx Tower. Yeah, Flaming Burst Adamantine Dagger. Huh. Leaving the console once you get memory card. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Or, or, come on, in the case of the GameCube... You'd leave your console online to unlock Mewtwo and Smash. <laughs> yeah. Gotta keep exploring. We can't simply give up here. There's still level to clear, and experience to earn, and loot to get.
<laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The children these days don't understand what's good for them. <laughs> Not for sure. chest. Shocking burst, adamantine short sword. Oh, it's even better than the one I got right now. Huh. <laughs> yeah, you're a boomer, Chaos, don't you know? <laughs> oh, man. Ah! I, I don't know. I'm aware. You're 28. You're definitely, like, by definition, not a boomer. But also, I mean, come on. You're an old man, woman, child thing. I'm going to admit chaos. I don't know. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that without checking with you. All right. Yeah, ball lightning. But no, yeah, I, I pretty much grew up on PS1, PS2, and we were like Sony in my house all the way down, so uh, that's like kind of what I'm used to myself, right? Yeah. Well, it's funny because uh, when I got through school, all my friends had, like, Xboxes and stuff. When we were, like, in high school and stuff. Like, oh, yeah, Xbox 360s. You want to play games with me? I'm like, no, nah, I can't. <laughs> I'll have I'll have a Microsoft console. And they're like, oh, I'm a coward. Elven Chainmail plus five. Wow. I should just start dropping crap because you can't sell things out here. So, like, I don't think this is going to be better, but it might. 39? Yeah, 29. Looks kind of cool, at least. Hated Xbox coming up? Yeah, I remember there was, like, a weird, like, it wasn't logical at all. But, like, for some reason, I just didn't like people who had Xboxes. Because I'm like, I got a PlayStation. I'm on that side of the war. Looking back, that's a completely idiot stance to take. But, no, yeah. I'm not saying it's an idiot stance to take because, like, it's like X Xbox One or something, but more because, uh, I don't think you should really judge people based on the console they own. <laughs> Honestly, I still think Sony won the console war, as been seen by how many people are just, like, wanting a PS5 and how few people seem to care about getting an... Oh god. What's the new Xbox called? Is it the Xbox One Series X? Is that it? Is, is that the new Xbox? I think so? Or is it just the Xbox Series X? What is Or is Series X like the Pro model for a different one? Or is that the... Is there a Series Y? Looks like a mini fridge, if you tell me what it's called. Exactly! Oh, thank you for the treasure chest. Ring... Look. Ring generation. As much as I want to wear that, dude, I need my ring of strength to carry shit. Oh, yeah, potions. Look at all these potions. 
You know, I'll, I'll, I'll drop that. I don't need it. I'm... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How many potions do I have right now? <laughs> yeah, here we go. I have all the potions mankind could desire. Yeah, plate helmet, get out of here. I've got a full plate helmet. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so are you drinks? No, no, no. That's what the that's what the KFC the the Kentucky Fried Console is for. It's got the it's got the fucking the heater on top. To keep your chicken warm. It's a mana regen ring. Not, I mean, like, would be good, but I need strength. Yeah, the chicken roaster. Yeah. The Kentucky Fried Console, which is just a gaming PC with a goddamn a heater element. It's supposed to use the. It's supposed to use the heat running from the con or from the, the graphics card and the CPU to keep your chicken warm. You can like put chicken in there. It's got like a grease catcher and everything. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's a hilarious meme, but... Ah! Stop it! Instead of the armor plus five. Alright, what else we got? <laughs> Stop playing to cook chicken. No, no, no. I specifically don't think it gets hot enough to cook your chicken. I think it's like a legal disclosure that they've, they've got to put in. But because I don't think it gets hot enough to get among the minimum internal safety temperature for a chicken to be properly cooked. But it keeps it warm so that you can still eat it after like three or four hours of playing. I think the implication is that you're supposed to buy a bucket of chicken from KFC and then you uh then you go game while you leave it in your chicken heater for three hours. Excuse me. Ow. Now my nose hurts real bad. Yeah, I'm into Halber plus one. No, get off me. Uh. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, no, I don't. I'm not gonna pretend to understand KFC's marketing genius, because straight up having something bad out got KFC's name on a lot of people's notice. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't really like KFC because I've got a local restaurant equivalent that's just way better. Okay, what the fuck is this anyway? Oh my god, the game's slowing down. That should be better than my amount of intellect. Oh god, the game is slowing down because how many items are on the ground. Oh god, the game is not liking this level. Ne 
Thanks for doing to do hog pockets. Yeah. Alright, Tress, give me something good. Oh god, full plate mail plus five, yeah. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, here we go, I'm a golden knight now, baby. Scale boots plus five. <laughs> You're right. No, it needs to have, what you know how those like fridges have those places you can put a cup into them? And they, like, dispense cold water or whatever. You need one of those, but for Mountain Dew as well. Uh. Ah! Alright. Chain helmet. No! What's up? <laughs> like, right? Just the idea of this gaming machine that dispenses gamer fuel as you as you consume it. And it's like hooked up to Amazon and like has your credit card information, so it knows how much Mountain Dew's left and automatically orders it whenever you're down low enough. <laughs> Same thing with the hot pockets. <laughs> Alright. The game is very much not enjoying me being in this hallway. Yeah, a Mercia. <laughs> oh, the game really doesn't like this section of the level. There's too much loot that I'm just leaving on the floor because you can't shop in this part in this dungeon. There's like no merchant you can recall to. You have to drop shit you don't need, and you can't sell it. He bully me. <laughs> right? I mean, it's it's a good it's a good invention. Uh, so I expect you to uh, begin research and development and then pay me for my idea. <laughs> oh no no like uh, American cuisine though. You see, since I'm Canadian, I actually can't have, uh, I can't have any of these. So mine dispenses, uh, Tim Hortons Double Double, uh, in concentrated liquid form. And, uh, the heater on top is like a, it's a gravy warmer. So it warms up my gravy and I can drop my cheese curds in it to keep them melted. And, I, and then the bottom is a deep fryer so I can have my basket of fries, dump them out, immediately get poutine and a Double Double. On the spot. All while I'm getting this a crisp 144 frames in Crisis. <laughs> oh no! Iron Shield plus five. Yeah. Give that to me. Nine. <laughs> You're right. It's uh, it's the heart attack machine. Ow! Ow! <laughs> God, the game is not happy with me. Either that or Dreads of Mountain Dew? Yeah, you're right. You're right. I am a gamer, so I've got to have my gamer fuel. Okay. Oh, this might be it. This might be the new weapon. It's actually worse. Oh. Oh. Costs more, but it's worse. Uh, 
There we go, ring of strength. I can carry more potions, baby. Elven leather boots, we. This level's fun, because you get, like, the r most ridiculous loot. But there's also, like, nothing to buy, and you can't... You can't... You can't sell it! I want This is all worth so much money, I can't make use of it, because there's no merchant. Not that there'd be anything to spend the money on, because all my gear's better than what merchants would sell. <laughs> but it's the principle of the matter, goddammit. Oh, God. The physics engine doesn't like that. Alright. Tower level 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know what's actually kind of funny? Is it worked. Th like, that marketing campaign? Straight up, it's it's worked. Gamers now actually do buy more Mountain Dew. Because you kind of think about it, uh, you've been, like, psychologically conditioned to drink Mountain Dew and, uh, buy Doritos. You, yourself, might not do it. Oh, God. Fine, great axe, not worth. Yeah. Just potions. Chest full of potions. How dare they? How dare they do this to me? Master of magic! Oh shit. <laughs> oh man, I love it. We're getting to the end game now, boys. Icy burst, masterwork, long sword of defense, huh? Let's see how much how much defense does it give me? 106. 108 it gives me two points of defense. Fuck that. <laughs> Ow. Full plate mail plus five. I already got that, though. Yeah, no. Like, straight up, just lean into the stereotype. Uh, like, a big part of it is also those deals they make with, like, uh, whatever company, right? Oh, God. I almost died of that fucking gargoyle. As powerful as I may seem, I'm not all powerful. Uh, like, the deals they constantly get with, like, Halo or Call of Duty whenever they release a new game that, like gives people special codes if they buy with them. Like, that's that's good. That's a good idea. Alright. <laughs> Double XP weekends, though. Oh god. Oh Jesus Christ, how is this one still alive? I'm, it's eating like three ball lightnings, what the fuck? Save the game here. 
We're almost at the final boss, baby. Yeah, right. There we go, we got it. Oh boy. Alright. Save point, baby. Extra rejuvenation potion. Look at these chests, though. It's got just a pile of potions. This one's got a short sword of defense. Wait, actually. That's the same. But it does give me point of defense. So I might as well use it? Right? Gives me two points of defense, so I might as well, I guess? The exact same damage level. Now that's bad. those potions oh there's a there we go baby alright we're getting there we are getting there Bit by bit. I'd like to hit the next level before you fight the boss to see if we're getting the, uh... Getting the next level of ball lightning for the absolute meme. Just cap that out at plus five. Plus five. Probably not worth it. We're not even going to try. Oh boy, the game's slowing down. Just a little bit. Not too, too much, but it's it's enough to notice. Also, because I can actually see the speed the game's running at above my, uh, above my emulator. So I can see that we're actually running at, uh, 90 frame or 90%. So we're losing some frames when we go through there. Ten frames when I walk down that fucking hall. Ow! Regeneration. I don't care about regeneration. I want one of the strength ring or something. Alright, so that's back down. So we came from that direction. We did this entire loop to the right. So let's head up this way where we can go to the actual directions we're going. I don't go down this way. I didn't go down this way, huh? Oh, that didn't help me. 
So close to our next level. We are so close to our next level. Here we go, baby! Ball lightning level five! Yeah, that's all we need. And then let's, uh, more mana, I guess. So it's going from, it's now doing 180 damage per second. Yeah, we're gonna go back to our amulet of intellect from our rejuvenation because it's definitely not really helping me. There we go. I've got a uh, 252 max mind power, brain power. Boy, that those guys hit really hard. All right, we got this. We got this. We're okay. go. When enemies are standing still, man, does ball lightning do numbers. What was that? 
chain gloves plus 10. No, get out. I need some health potions, is what I need. Oh, there's one. How useful. Frost Bastard Sword. I can't care. I can't use. There we go. Alright. We got some more potions. We got a doorway. We can save the game. Mail plus three. No, thank you. There we go. We got him. We got tons of armor. We got uh, good offense. Oh, fuck you. Oh, no. There we go. Alright, we got through this door. Yeah, take these guys down. Oh, Jesus Christ, they're tough. I hate the hit with damage they do. It's okay. Cement of gear, we're loaded up on potions. I don't think we're gonna get to the next level, um, like before we get to the final boss. So I don't know if it's even worth clearing out the dungeon if we should just rush. Oh boy, that seam there doesn't look good. Um, we should just rush the boss instead of trying to grind everything out. I think we could just win now if we want to, and then we'll be able to finish this game on screen tonight. And uh, tomorrow morning or tomorrow noon, I can start number two, or maybe you'll play a different game. Strike Suit Zero or something. That'd be fun. Whatever the case, we can beat the game tonight, and then tomorrow or some other date we can play the second game, which I think is uh, much better crafted mechanically. Oh boy! Stop hitting me. so hard. Don't be so rude to me. Why'd you gotta be so rude? You know what? You need to take that out of the screen. Ow, fuck. Pokey stick hurts, man. Ow. 
Ow. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, those those stabs hit pretty hard. <laughs> they stab you pretty good. I need to just do the block combo better. Like straight up, just like blocking and then casting like ball lightning is like way better. See how much one stab does to me? It, it does hurt. But, because I got a shield, I can pretty much just win by holding down the block button. If I really wanted to. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah. That guy died like a bitch because he was standing still. Ball Lightning does a crap load of damage, but it's honestly not that good a spell for just beating up opponents who are standing still because it only hits them a few times. It's really good for crowds of groups. It's not the best. Actually, hold up. I'll take that because I think my current ring of strength is technically plus four. Oh no, they're both plus five. Okay, well. I should have enough mana and health potions. For me to just win, so we're gonna. Oh fuck, there's another level. Shit. I forgot. Maybe it will hit the next level by the time I'm done with this. Oh hey, fire elementals. Better with these guys.
not gonna bother the side rooms. I'm just gonna go for it. I think that's my uh, melee attacks whiffing. Like, before they didn't, because I was always hitting, but now that enemies are hard enough to hit, I don't have a high enough melee attack to hit them, even if I'm swinging on them. They tend to dodge a lot. I don't need you. Not in my life. Alright, we're getting there. We're gonna get there. We're gonna hit the end of this game tonight. I believe in myself. I can also stay up a bit later since, like, like I said, it's my Friday, so I'm... Dawn's gonna work tomorrow. I don't know if there's bad guys in this room, or, well, I know there are, but I don't know where they are. Ah, there he is. That was an adamantium golem. I killed it. I killed it dead. Oh, he dropped the onyx sword. Which I think is actually just... ...really good. It's too heavy! It's too heavy! There we go. Yeah, the onyx sword's just the best weapon in the game. Well, it's not the it's not the best weapon in the game, but it's pretty much the best weapon in the game. Man, dexterity. Nah, we're good. The Hall of Remembrance. Oh, you can walk through the walls. Wow. I don't think there's any benefit to doing this, is if you wanted like potions. Yeah, these are just rooms to have, like, potions in and stuff. The game doesn't like how many boxes are loaded into this area, though. Um, there's just... I got, I got plenty of potions, to be honest. Alright. What? Can I not go up the stairs until I do something and need these rooms or something like that? Uh Oh, game not happy with me. Game is not happy right now. Uh No. Oh, hey. Who are you? In life I was Keldon, first Captain Company, Western Sun. I was in death I am nothing. Sam with the Hall of Remembrance, one of many prisoners. Here's a check of the walls and shadows of the tower. We are doomed to Sam, blah, blah, blah. Eldrith. I see, for her names have been ground beneath times healed. You not heard of Eldrith the Betrayer? The traitorous of sorts, Eldrith the Westering Sun. He's forgotten an irony of a sort. Go on, I would hear more about her. She's the greatest general of the Lord Coast, blah, 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 blah. What happened to Verlander Distinction at first and the last blah blah blah? Back heart. Okay, what led to your deaths and hers? Not know what the fire burned her heart, but it poisoned her. It was a poison that seems it was late, blah 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 blah. She killed people. Okay, what happened? I'm gonna get bait betrayal. I left my way from the walls where she was safe, blah 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 blah. Okay, sure. Yeah. Alright, she's passed on. 
Okay. Why? Too many good soldiers were lost. Dukes told us. For the whole return, I was just feeling it. Death blow. Uh, she felt it was better to deal a death blow to the Horde and ensure they'd never threaten Lord's Gate again. She defied the Dukes and led us to our deaths. Already weakened, we charged upon the strongest bands of the Horde and cornered them to the cliff. Tess will bring us trapped in the canyon, but in doing so, we give him no choice but to fight us. Um, the Horde more vicious than we thought, blah, 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 blah. The Horde broke free. But after the reinforcements, the reinforcements never came, the Horde over around us. Blah, blah, blah. Always came a thing, creature comes by fear, willing to return to Lord's Gate, demand an audience with the Dukes. Might the gates sold that are between the battlefield walls. Now, what happened to them? She gathered all of us remains, all of us to her sword. Ordered a broken company to attack the walls of her city. Swore she would take it for the Dukes, make it hers, but the Dukes the sword. It'll be just as she did as for suicide. We slain to a man, blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. I died here in the Marsh of Chandler. So did all that remain. Okay. Yeah, she still lives how? Because she's a lich slash death knight. Okay. That or the top of the tower. Mr. Tower, our spirits are the tower as well. Our spirits are part of the tower as well. I shall go meet her, then I shall see to you. So that you may reach her. I pray the gods favor you. Now I'm sure you know that she's saying that. If you follow the element of plate of fire, and we can see if we can't skip the tower where she lives, and I've gone after she's dead. Can you know? Um Tower itself has many places. We can slow up creature death now repairs of her. Take care of what you made as well as be careful should you choose to lock steel with her. Eldred was one Okay. Still. If this tower is linked to her, then a blade forged from the walls of Okay. Actually wait, can you can he sell things to me? Are you prepared for your final battle? If you no. Need no, he just lets me rest, which restores my health and mana, which doesn't fucking matter. Alright. We're gonna take on the final boss. Let's go, boys. Let's let's take this one on. We got this. We got this. So the dogs of Baldur's Gate once again hound me, and all the way to my sanctuary this time, though it lies a horizon's distance from their walls. Can it be here runs, so render best Surrender. death. Nothing oh, to fear from you. I'm back gate my So again, blah blah blah. With all of my first life. Okay. Now you dare to invade my fortress, demand my surrender? Okay. Then you shall die. As long as I stand the war. As long as okay. Alright. Her tear ends now. We got this. You know, we're audible off letter put her helmet back on though. You know, we wouldn't want to take that from her. Ow. Ow. What the fuck? Ow. Jesus Christ, lady. Okay, my spells just straight up don't damage her. I think she's immune to lightning, which is, uh, a bad time for me. I might have to, uh, not use my lightning spell because she's immune to my primary spell. That's a bit of a shame. I have to watch this cutscene every time, don't I? Huh. I know I can just say so, your trade worth. Okay, blah blah blah. Let's see. Can I level up any one of my other spells to do something against her? Two points left. Whatever.
This is it. Is this cheating? Is this cheating? It's a, I'm mad that she's immune to lightning because I built my entire build of doing lightning damage. I wish I put a couple points into Elf's Acid Arrow, because damn, this sucks. Yay, we did it. <laughs> what an epic final boss. What a true epic boss fight. And so it has come to pass that I shall die twice. And this second time shall be the last. I... The tower will not hold. You must leave this place. I ask your forgiveness. I... Let anger cloud my vision. I harmed those who had sworn to serve me. <laughs> In all these things, oh. great harm has been done. Let Baldur's Gate have its peace. I shall not rise again to challenge it, though it will doubtless need others such as you to defend it from others that wish it hard. We got this. Now, leave me to die. This tower shall be my tomb. Okay. Goodbye, lady. We're gonna go. So, canonically, at this point, all three player characters have been in a party the whole time and made their way here together. And then they all leave the teleportation gate at the same time. Which I would show you the cutscene, but this is what happens with my emulated cutscenes. And uh, I'm just gonna hide that before I kill somebody. Um, but all of you should know that that's happening. This is actually painful to look at. <laughs> and thus, in a storm of fire and lightning, Eldrith died her second death. But it was all part of a much larger design. <gasps> bum bum bum. It is done. Eldrith is undone. And her threat to us and our plans has been ended. And the harper that defeated her killed. It, that's the lizard guy who sent us to the tower. He 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 betrayed us at the end. That we just we, that's what we learned. Where did the portal lead? Huh? Oh, <laughs> thank you for the follow, shift list. <laughs> Sorry, you have to do it when I can't show you the cutscene because it's an epilepsy warning. Joke's on them, it's not a tale for another time, because it ended at Dark, uh, Dark Alliance 2. Alright, so now I can put it back on the screen and have the credits roll. <laughs> yeah, so, that was Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. We got out, we, uh, killed the big bad that turned out wasn't actually the big bad, and we were just manipulated into killing. Um... And then Baldur's Gate 2 comes on, and it's a, pretty much the same thing, where you get to the end, and it's like, Oh, but there's a big bad, and then there's never any more. Because <laughs> that's the way it is. Uh. 
I love this remix with the ghost singing from the beginning of the game, though, in this bass line. It's, it really adds a lot to the game. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So, I am going to try to find someone to raid. Hmm. I gotta find someone who's a VTuber that I know, so I can show up and slam dunk on them. Uh, Apex, you gross. That sounds like a bad game no one should ever play. <laughs> Jace is playing Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon. Um, playing demos. That sounds like a good time. He's playing various game demos. Um, anyone in this Discord streaming? Just me. Wow, who'd have thought? How about this one? We've got Smash Bros. Unbeatable. Enlisted. Valorant. Uh, see if there's anybody who's playing Dark Alliance right now. Let's go to let's go to Twitch and figure that out. Baldur's Gate, Dark Alliance. Uh, looks like there's a couple people playing it, but I'm pretty much the only one. Okay, well, um, let's stop by for Keenan Inigami, and we'll uh, we'll hang out with with him for a little bit, uh, because he's pretty cool. He's one of my siblings, so in VTuber terms, that means his art was done by the same artist that did my art. So uh, we're gonna go hang out while he plays some Super Animal Royale. Whatever the hell that is, it looks like a joke. <laughs> 